Okay, so we are back in once again, guys. Yeah, right. Welcome to episode number 24 of Digital Blackface. <laughs> it's your boy Poe, and I am here with my favorite co-host and one of my best friends and the best producer in the world, Lam Hammer. Lam Hammer, say hi to the people. Best producer, and I can't even get the fucking sound to go. Uh, we're, we're, nobody's perfect. <laughs> we're also here with our uh, first guest, and pr- all, he's pretty much becoming like a standard co-host at this point. Mm-hmm. My man Jeremy. What's good, Poe? How's it all going? Uh, nothing much. Uh, you know, just I just wanted an artist's opinion today because you know what? Today we're talking about our own special, special retarded Twitter topic. Uh, race bending. I was gonna. I was gonna. Uh, yeah, race bending, blackwashing, whitewashing, ginger washing, which never happens, of course. But ginger washing, if you feel like it. Uh, that's what we're talking about today, because apparently it's a problem on Twitter because somebody has decided to stir the pot by creating a certain hashtag. Who could that be? I have no idea. But uh, we, I think we all have like a certain idea, but that, that, that doesn't matter right now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have an idea? Anyway, look. All I'm saying, okay, recently in the month of October, there was a great, there was a hashtag put out called Blacktober. And while it's been used for everything from uh, fitness posts to cosplay posts to uh, art posts, uh, a large portion of it has been just character edits uh, of character, of just race bending characters. And it's, and I, I found it very interesting. And I liked a lot of the race bends specifically. I, I found it very Interesting. I loved it. Specifically, uh, someone's Hinata, uh, Hinata design and uh, uh, someone's Samurai Jack design and someone's Jake Long design. They were all great. Um, however, I thought it would be funny as a joke, you know, as I do, the things I do, you know, the things I do, to post um, a white, blonde, blue eyed Korra edit from, you know, Legend of Korra and, hash- and tag it hashtag white Vember. Like I've been doing as a joke with other characters or uh, uh, characters in whiteface for about a week or so, and it it seemed it's I thought it'd be a funny joke that I'd get some angry people in the comments, but I thought that'd be it, that'd be all that would happen. But apparently that was I was wrong. Anyway, the the hate was too much and the bait was taken. That that particular tweet got about I think. 350 uh, quote tweets, and it's about to hit 5K likes, which is hilarious on its own. But people got really mad, and because they got mad, they accidentally got White Vember trending. <laughs> I think like that White it's an Vember excellent would... example goodness, you of you thing, not beautiful. considering the consequences of some of the things that you post. No, 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 no. I, I, I reaped... But I also sewed, and I enjoy what I sewed. I don't she think that exactly you meant for wanted. this to happen, though. Not I, didn't on know, the, I didn't think it would happen. On the I didn't scale think it would. that it this was something started. that I could only have dreamed of happening, and it happened. This is a, a four. This is four chan level bait. The only thing I wish was that people had not told everyone who made it at, at every opportunity. I wish people hadn't given away the bait so quickly. Yeah, but people like, are still going to see it and miss that elaboration. Of course. But I wish I wish they hadn't given away the bait. I wish they hadn't said, hey, no, the dude who did it was black. I wish they had let it just go. Let the heat just build. But I, they I, know, couldn't I, I, I get where you're coming from because I am, like, I always love some good bait getting taken seriously. Yeah. But uh, that was kind of on the old side, so that's kind of why, like, you didn't get away with it as easily. So, <sighs> sorry, I hate what? to say. Personally, like the uh, when I first made like uh, like the first thing I posted White Vember with was a picture of a kid from the kid from Atlanta, the episode uh, where uh, the main character's girlfriend uh, uh, was going to work and she was a teacher, and there was a kid in the back who had covered his face with chalk, and he put himself in white. That was the first post I ever made last week with hashtag White Vember. And ever since then, I just occasionally spoke, put some Boondocks posts. And then that Cora post was the one I did not expect would get so much attention, but it did. But all I got to say is, why are people really so mad about it? Like, I remember I was speaking to someone who said, um, they said something like, uh, why, why are y'all so mad that you would create White Vember uh, 
you just want to you just want to hurt black people like you got so mad at seeing black art that you decided to make this hashtag and don't you realize that just because the characters have been drawn as black it doesn't it's not going to change the fact that they're originally white and that was when i jumped into the conversation because she was talking in a thread of mine i was like so you realize my point right so you realize the irony in what you're saying she was like what irony and i was like you just said just because someone drew them as black or edited them to be black doesn't change the fact that they will always be white. So just the fact that someone edited a character to be white as a joke doesn't mean that character will always, doesn't mean that character won't always be black. Like if you Google that character, a hundred times, 99 times out of a hundred, they will come up in their original creation. They will come up with however dark their skin was. So someone doing it as a joke is not gonna take away from that character's identity. Course, so why exactly are can't you let it and then they went into this whole thing saying oh you did it maliciously you did it because you hate black people you people and i'm like i'm like like first of all man you gotta relax you gotta chill down sweetie you think like not to be misogynistic or sexist or whatever but sweetie. you know <laughs> <laughs> you misogynistic never. yeah can you imagine like never anyway so, Jeremy, what was your opinion of, of my little masterpiece, my unexpected uh, piece de resistance? Uh, I thought it was completely beautiful. I mm. I remember I even quote retweeted you myself of like, this is going to produce a lot of salt. And I, for one, am excited about it. Uh, I did very much enjoy it. The one thing I kind of feel with the whole like blackwashing and everything, my biggest concern that I actually even expressed this to other Japanese artists and they got back with me, it's like, why don't you make your own characters then? Because like a lot of the times, yeah, there's a very fine line between fan art and literally just taking like official art and just painting it black. Like I saw this one post of, uh, I think it's like Mario Soccer for the Wii or something like that. And it had like Princess Peach and Princess Daisy. And you know, it, it all looks good. It's very edgy looking. And someone literally just went in the fucking like paint or something Changed their eyes to brown, uh, changed their skin to brown, and posted it up. That's literally all they did. Mm -hmm. And they got, like, I think 12,000 likes for it. Like, unironically, 12,000. It was, like, double. Like, that. my pin tweet is only at 10K. They hit 12 in less than, like, a fucking day. For literally just taking some art, making it black, and then posting it up under Blacktober and calling it original. And that blew my mind. And the Japanese artists I've been talking to were also expressing just like, someone took one of my original characters and you know they don't really call their anime characters by race. It's just, hey, I made a character. This is their face. This is their name. And that's it. They, they even call it stateless or something like that. Mokuseki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you're, you're a weeb, you know though. You know, well, I'm not really a we, yeah. but, but I'm aware. I'm aware. I'm aware of these things. I'm aware of these things. You know. But yeah, the, they were complaining like, "Why don't you make your own characters? Like, why did you have to take mine and make it black? You could have just as easily done your own." And and that's why I'm starting to feel their pain of just like make your own characters if you if it's so important to you. Why do you just need Black Deku? Why can't you just make your own fucking character and name him? I don't know, Anthony. And he's like, you know, the same one punch man or whatever. But this guy is actually something that you can own and be proud of, not just a blatant copy playing it black. Because that's going to get quickly forgotten within the next few months. Whereas if it's your own creation, you can keep it for years and always be proud of it. And that's kind of where, like, I'm starting to feel exactly where they're coming from. But, you know, mm -hmm. good original art isn't enough clout for them. They need to just fucking steal my hero academia characters and give them an afro and say that this is good for black people. I mean, yeah. me, like all, all I got to say, I, I did enjoy a bunch of the edits because they look, they look kind of fire. I'm not going to lie. I was like, they look kind of cool. Number five, like, it looks pretty, pretty on <laughs> Yeah, There, there, like were, there were a few door. that looked pretty cool. And I like, I, that's why like, that's why I was so surprised when people said I, I created a white Vember out of hate. Like, I loved a lot of the edits. Like, I saw people complaining and I agreed that they had a point, but I still liked seeing the edits regardless. 
like I agree that you should you should focus on creating original characters. So it's not like uh, just using uh, other uh, white characters for clout. But I, I still liked or white or Japanese. But I still like the edits. Like something about uh, Black Sengu really just mm, just hits me in the chest. I'm not even saying that all the art was bad. Like that's another thing that they were mentioning. It's just like some of the art is really good. Why isn't it your own? True. That, that is the one question that kind of hit me like a sack of brick of just like why isn't it your own uh, it it like if i was that artist like you know something wasn't even directed at you and it still hurts type of deal yeah i think so let's let me actually bring a few, like two more people in so that they can uh we're gonna uh, be filtering people in and out but let's just bring a, a couple more people in so they can say their part oh uh, let's see uh let me jump into the green room we'll copyright right so lamb what is your whole opinion of this I, uh, it depends on what it is and what it's for. I, ultimately, I do not care. Because if it's not something that I'm watching, I'm not going to care about it as far as, like, canon or anything is concerned. It's, I, it feels like a weird flex to try to claim characters for your race. It doesn't matter if you're doing black washing or white washing mm -hmm. as far as i'm concerned i'm not <laughs> i think that but some there's... of the fan pieces look really fire though oh uh, shit so, so we've got we... us uh rustic night fawn and paper planes yeah. and uh so let me ask you guys a question real quick when it comes to blacktober like how do you feel immediately just about the concept uh it's, it's a slippery really... it's a slippery slope slippery slope that's all. <laughs> That's what I feel about that. It's because I just it just because basically it sets a dangerous precedent that you could that you're able to basically swap out the race of any character, even if the race is basically like the, a key point in their character. Okay, but no, 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 wait, but real quick, like, but to be honest, like, when it comes to me, I personally like like the Blacktober edits. Because I feel like th this is largely just fan art, and you should have the freedom to do whatever you want with fan art, especially with uh, yeah, sure. with all the uh, attacks people often get for fan art on Twitter for anything, for age, for shape, for uh, making them furries, for making anthro characters human. Like you, you can get hate from anywhere. That's yeah. why I think like the whole content of Blacktober, like like if you're gonna just do edits. I don't really mind it, really. Yeah. <laughs> so, how, how do you feel about White Vember getting like co all like all this freaking coverage from all sides of the political? Um, I'm gonna be in a, in a Vice article or a BuzzFeed article pretty soon, <laughs> and I can't wait to be verified. Yeah. <laughs> I, I personally, like, I personally can't wait for you to show up on BBC and being labeled a, a labeled a white black supremacist. <laughs> That's oh my happen. god, a full Clayton I mean, Bigsby. I'm, I'm going to be so excited. Oh, I'll have to, I'll have to uh, get my my sheet ready. But anyway, my mm -hmm. <laughs> like okay. When it comes to, let me ask a quick question. When it comes to, um, like every, anyone can answer this. When it comes to, uh freedom of art like oh, a single person deciding oh i want to see how they would look like as a white character or a black character or an asian character versus a corporation like a media corporation deciding hey there's this character who's always been black white or ginger i don't I know why i'm saying ginger is a separate race but you know what shut up you know why i'm doing it um, <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, and then the most... making them asian black or white how do you feel about that I feel as if, though through artistic representation, the actual character themselves remains through right. corporate interference with the character themselves, their entire um, canon changes because the corporation is the thing that had created the character, or at least the filmmakers making it are making the character in this iteration, thusly changing the character this way changes the very integral core of them while a fan artist simply changing their race though extremely superficial and somewhat vain at least in my opinion it's it's harmless okay but uh but in reference to corporations like live action or live action and animation do you think they should still they should be they should be allowed to change the races regardless 
I mean, it is their property. Yeah. I, 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 I don't think it should be illegal. Property. That's why it's like, because like, unless they did, they own it. So yeah. what are you going to do? Unless, unless their race is an integral part of their stories. And I believe it's fair, but just don't pander to like whatever type of race you like the, they're changing their character to just, just for the, the internet good boy points and the you know what? I, I, I agree with you guys on that one. I agree with you guys on that one. Uh, if you guys know anything about the new series, Invincible, that uh, the, the animated series that's been made of the comic, uh, yeah. uh, it's coming out on Amazon Prime, I believe, next year. Yeah, um, I heard it Mother yeah. Thing. yeah, they turned the mother, uh, Mark's, Mark Grayson, the main character, Invincible, uh, in the co in the, uh, comics, he was white, and his mother was white. His dad was a Superman slash Goku type alien, and basically, they made his mother white in uh, Asian in the animated series, thereby making Mark half Asian. Now, at first, I was wondering why they could have changed it. Then I realized that his voice actor was Stephen Yoon or Glenn from The Walking Dead. So do you feel like making a, a character half Asian just because the voice actor is Asian is like, a, was it like a, a natural move or a corporate move? What do you think? I, I think, think it feels it's kind natural. Of yeah, it feels natural because depend. I don't know how Glenn actually sounds, but if he has a heavy Asian accent. Oh, he does not. He does not. He does not. Oh, oh no. He, yeah, he that, sounds that, like that must have been. Southerner. Yeah, it must have been yeah. corporate. Then. That, that must have been corporate. Yeah, it felt like, like it. I felt like they did it to avoid uh, some sort of backlash. Yeah, which is weird. Yeah, yeah. because usually, usually within with a in a cartoon or any TV series with an all white cast, that kind of gets a uh, kind of gets slammed for not for not having inclusivity. So they, they probably just they just probably shoved in uh, an Asian character for the good boy points. You know that's 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 a good point. That's a good point. Although they've also ch uh, changed a few other characters. Like there's one character called Rex Flode. Uh, basically, his backstory is that um, his family was poor, so they sold him off to a corporation slash organization to be experimented on and tortured on, uh, like experimented on and turned into like a cyborg assassin with gambit type superpowers, and I to assassinate that. people, and then. He, es he escaped, found his family, and then went to their house only to realize they're rich uh, and celebrating Christmas without him. This was like maybe five, ten years later because he was like an elementary school kid. So, like, I, I, someone in the comments said if they changed Rex's uh, uh, race, that might bring up some very, um, that Different might make, his, yeah, that might make his, uh, his backstory a bit worse somehow, right, through racial connotations. And yeah, I believe they made him either a very light-skinned black guy or Mexican, Hispanic. That, that reminds me, uh, does anybody remember that shitty reboot that came out for Power Rangers a couple years ago? Which one? The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie. Oh, you mean the, the, yeah. the one with... Um... The live action one, the, yeah, yeah. The all live action. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> okay, the, yeah. the, what they did with the with the Black Ranger and the original, the Black Ranger was black, and like as you can see, that shit wouldn't really fly. So they didn't even take them out. They just repl they just swapped races. They had the the Blue Ranger be black, and they just gave the Black Ranger an Asian actor. See, I did not mind that one though. I didn't mind that. Yeah. All the way. I mean, yeah, I, I didn't so mind awful. that one as much. Yeah, they, they, they because because I love happened. that movie. I, I love that movie. Like that movie captured like like I felt like it captured what I loved about Power Rangers growing up. Like it wasn't a great movie, but it was a good movie. It had heart, you know. All, all the Zords they looked they looked really good, but the Megazord just the Megazord looked kind of trash. But I was like, that's because they didn't really uh, uh combine together properly, you know. True. I I think they could really if, explain that in the uh, if they made a the sequel. Seem more human or an alien instead of robotic. True. Anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, so, in general, we've got the idea of corporations versus original characters. Lamb, you have any points? Um, I t just about like the corporations thing. Like, I think it was Jeremy was saying that the property does belong to them, and somebody else said that as long as the race isn't. It's, as long as their character isn't heavily based 
around just their race, it's really not going to matter too much if you change the race. So, like, when I think about um, DC changing the Green Lantern to a white bra, you know, like, it it might not be the guy that everybody thinks of right away, because it's not the one that I think of right away when I think of Green Lantern. Wait, who do you think of when you think of Green Lantern? Uh, Wait, who is your Green Lantern when when you hear the word Green Lantern? John. Okay, so, you know, for me, it's Hal Jordan. Yeah, same. Oh, really? <laughs> the the no, funny thing is, I... the funny thing is, I grew I grew up on the Justice League uh, Unlimited TV show. So yeah, I, I uh, John Stewart was my first Green Lantern. But the yeah, funny John's... thing, the funny Holy. thing is, because I've read so many Green Lantern comics, when I think Green Lantern, I think Hal Jordan. When I think I, I, John Stewart is just his name, John Stewart. Guy Gardner is just Guy Gardner. Every other John uh, Green Lantern except uh, what's his name, Hal Jordan, is just their name. True. Yeah, like the, the thing about Green Lanterns is they're all kind of like a big uh, corporate yeah, uh, so, organization. Yeah, like, yeah, they can all be Green Lantern, and technically none of them can. So it, it they're they're all Green Lantern, but everybody my Green is Lantern Green Lantern. 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 <laughs> yeah, I am I Green Lantern. Green Lantern. I, am Green Lantern. I am Green Lantern. I am Green Lantern. I'm not Green Lantern. I'm just an average guy. <laughs> mm-hmm. fun- funnily enough, I think that I'm Batman. Uh, at least. When it comes to race, I mean, though this is a bit of a tangent, um, Justice League actually did very well. And it taught me something very simple. Race as a trait of a character is both the most superficial, yet can be the deepest part of a character at yeah. once. Wait, I, I, have, I have a question to ask. Can I ask a question? Go for it. All right, basically, th- do you guys see... Uh, the changing of a race and a character to the same severity or same type of level as changing the gender of a character? Uh, very much depends. Because like, if I yeah. see, like, you know, Superwoman and everything and she starts sprouting off freaking super feminist garbage, I, I'm not going to be as interested as versus a Superman. However, if it's, like, say, a thief character and it goes, like, Gambit, how you just mentioned a while ago, if they change him to a female, I don't feel like I'll be as like effective as if they just uh, change, I don't know, Swamp Thing into a female. Like you kind of get where I'm coming from with that. Mm-hmm. I, I don't feel like a good part of their character would change via gender swap, but at the same time, um, I don't know. I'm just a big stickler for just make something new instead of you know, it's. The Flash, but a girl. It's the Incredible Hulk, but a girl. Like, yeah. it, even I, I, I feel like, like it's easier girl. to swap the gender of a villain than it is a protagonist. I, no, I, I mean, feel like I you feel guys like... remember what they did. Uh, like, I don't know if you guys were big into comics specifically, but when when Marvel changed Thor and just made like made Thor a woman, we didn't know that it was Jane at the time. A lot. People were annoyed, but they they were only more annoyed. They were annoyed at the change, the sudden and immediate change. But honestly, people were just seeing what would happen. It was the, their usual, oh, I don't like this change type of thing. But then when people actually read the comic and saw that it, it was actually bad, like the, just the writing was just terrible, and it was just woman good, man bad type of thing. Oh, um, uh, like, the funny thing is, like, People can adapt to like character changes or character switches or whatever really quickly, but when you actually make the character bad or their story bad, people are gonna believe that it's the fact that you change their gender or race that's what made them bad. Yeah, it's a real waste of yeah, opportunity. You, yeah, honestly. you make a really good point there. Yeah, like, if it's could, good, um, in- if it's a like, change, like, but it's good, like say they make Batman like a female, but it's like insanely good, like it makes. Batman, the animated series, shed a tear in pride, then Batman's cool. But if it's like Batman, but it sucks, yeah, we're going to be pissed off. So yeah, oh. you make a very good point. So, so Batgirl, basically. No, no, yeah. Batgirl is so good. Batgirl versus Batwoman. Oh, Batwoman. Yeah, that's CW show. CW show. Um, If I may interject, Go ahead. I think that the worst part, at least the worst part in terms of character when they swap genders or when they swap races is the actual characters that are those races and genders that do get erased. Like 
Captain Marvel was changed into a, a white woman at the cost of Monica Rail, who was the original Captain Marvel. You know what? Or, I, I really feel like it's really it's really weird what they did in the Captain Marvel movie. They turned the character who was Captain Marvel before her, and basically who was on equal level, like friends with her, uh, and had powers like pretty much as strong, considering she could literally go light speed and do all sorts of shit with light, into literally a little black girl who looks up to a white woman as her auntie. Oh yeah, that was yeah. really bad. It, it, was, it was hilarious to me as I was watching it because I was like, you yeah. guys, this is some accidental racism. <laughs> if I may if I may if I may interject, yeah, you, go know, ahead. you know how Netflix basically they they grab any any type of property and they ruin it, you know? So there was yeah. there's a there's a series called Saint Seiya. It's basically this uh the, the oh, original no. the original big armor show or whatever. It, no, no, and, uh, it, yeah. yeah, and they basically a couple years a couple years back, I think it was like one or two. They basically uh, they rebooted it into this into this weird Paw Patrol type animation level series. And the most damning thing is that they changed the character's gender to female, and it just it just boggles my mind because the character in the original series was a male. He was supposed to be like this like this basically a guy who's like really in touch with his emotions, like. Like he's weak, he's frail, but he still gets shit done. Like, like he basically, like you know how like people like don't like me, ma, talk, they don't like toxic uh, masculinity, and well, he was the opposite of that. And for the and for the Netflix re, uh, revival slash reboot, they basically erased any type of like semblance of uh, big things that they had just to turn it into another weak woman. Um, not weak woman. No, not not a weak uh, woman. It's too late. You already said it. Too late. Oh, can't take it back. Oh, no. Can't take it back. Oh, can't no. take it back. Can't. Oh, no. no. It's too late. You're a misogynist now. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting no. canceled on Twitter now. Everybody. Okay. You're li- okay. By well, saying well, weak well, woman well, together, you've literally well, chained well, me in the kitchen well, and forced me to make sandwiches <laughs> while bearing your child all uh, at once. Okay, what I meant Bear was that they, they, turned, they turned it into another, basically, uh, another woman... Like, Damsel in distress type thing. Like, yeah, they basically turned into that instead of it's just it's just stupid. They they basically removed what the what made the character the character. That I, I, I get, hate I get when that happens. Mean. Yeah, it happens a lot, really. Okay, yeah, what they're, okay, they're, real quick, real quick. Always... What was your what what's your opinion on uh them making April Black in the new uh T- TMNT uh, animated show? Hate I it personally do not also mind. Changed, uh Casey to a girl. For yes, no that that okay, was the I, annoying. I one. don't mind. Wait, April wait. They, they turned Casey. They turned Casey into a girl. Yeah, yeah. Yes, they, they literally did. turned her into a butch, like a butch oh, girl. No. It's like yeah. it's again. It's like another case of accidental racism, like accidental sexism against lesbians, because you just made like a butch freaking lesbian named Casey, who you know. Just attacks people and stuff. Just like, yeah, <laughs> just like, hmm, yeah. You guys are really putting out some good messages there. Way to go! I gotta Look. say, well, I mean, at least they had the ability to make a lesbian antihero instead of just making all lesbians dainty little feminine thingies. I gotta mm. give them credit. They they had balls, but they executed it poorly. Yeah, I, 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 I still feel, feel like Fem Casey just. Is un unnecessary if that makes sense. Because uh, I felt like I under- nothing oh, wrong thank with you, Aaron Vice, character. for your super chat. Says when's the fantasy racism episode? I want to see an episode <laughs> of Digital Greenskin featuring an elf. You know what, Aaron Vice? Thank you a lot for the super chat. <laughs> On that episode, we will be sure to have you there. Thank you. I, I we... can't wait. That sa- that sounds amazing. Yeah, I well, love that. Okay, yeah, we're, gonna, we're gonna talk about how orcs are just like black people. Oh, oh no! We're gonna be the most, we're, we're gonna be the, the, the horseshoe. We're gonna discuss the horseshoe theory, basically. Cancel cubed. <laughs> yeah, like oh. cancel squared. Oh my god! Seriously, cancel. the horse, 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 horseshoe theory is right. real. The horseshoe theory is real. One one it of these days, I, one of these days, I'm gonna have like a uh, uh, is communism bad episode and have Vosh on, and we'll see how quickly I get canceled. Uh, oh, uh, not Vosh, I, like, you know. You know she like sucks up the head. Okay. Anyway, oh, okay. I do have to add. <laughs> she, she wants what? that decrepit, 
She wants oh. a decrepit penis. Let's, let's, let's not talk. Let's not talk about that anymore. Let's just, let's move on <laughs> real quick. Anyway, um, so, so are you guys, any, any, you guys, have anything else to say about the uh, specific <laughs> specific topic? Yes, I do. I, I do want to know your opinion on how you feel about like how black people react to when other black people don't like the Blacktober into. Oh their... yeah, that. that... Um, <laughs> well, look, look, literally uh, that same conversation I was telling you about about that girl who said that I was malicious. Like I literally told her, um, first of all, do you call uh, Dave Chappelle or Chris Rock hateful when they make jokes that are even slightly racial? It's not my fault you're too much of a pussy to take a joke. If you're going to cry, that's your problem. That's not mine. And then she blocked me after I said, uh, have fun, sweetie, or something like that. Sweetie. She replied, okay, darling, or something like that. And I was about to re respond back, is this, are we flirting? Is this a thing right now? And But she blocked oh, by me the way, before you I could do that. Damn, you, you got to talk like my dude. circumvent blocks by just quote tweeting. Oh shit! I do that very often because, firstly, they can't oh, hide your reply. Dang it! That would have been. I really Second, wish I had known that. I would have said. I, I would have said, "Are we flirting right now?" <laughs> I I mostly circumvent them because there was this artist who was in your actual white member t um, tag, and yes. they were posting images of black characters. And speaking of, I had noticed a thing with black characters, especially uh -huh. these black tober edits. Something that really got on my, like, not nerves, but really piqued my curiosity. Have you noticed that with all these black edits, especially black edits that just change the um, yeah. character's skin tone in an anime screenshot, they make them always the exact same tone of black. There's never any caramel or very, like, deep, deep black. It's just the exact same shade over and over and over and over. And I'm like, there's a lot of homogeneity in this uh, diversity you've got here. Yeah. The funny thing you know, is, that's a very good point. That's good, that's good. I didn't think about that. That's a very, it's very one true. skin tone funny to thing represent is, them all. Funny thing is that I've never seen like I've, I've only oh seen like. Oh my goodness! Black thank you, Jonathan Gutierrez. Jonathan Gutierrez, you are that's thank you for the super chat. Thank you, Jonathan. It says Poe laying down for the pain. This is the quality content I subscribed for. Oh, oh laying down <laughs> the pain. Yeah, he does lay down for the pain though too. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> that, See that the last something. ten minutes of I'm each episode. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's see. So, um, <laughs> you guys mind if we uh, bring? You guys mind if we bring in a few more people to talk? Like, yes, yeah, sure. you got swap them out. Uh, sure. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna head down to Green. You guys talk among yourselves. Yeah. Hey, what's but, up, uh, yeah, that, you I, I, it, that is like a very big issue YouTube, YouTube, YouTube chat. Yeah. If, if you can hear me say say penis, penis, penis. <laughs> <laughs> do, it. Jesus, do it. Do it. You didn't need to do that. Devolved into Let's see if these kind it. of shenanigans. Yeah, that we... just happens fairly regularly. We get used to it. I love your rule. I'm not Poe, but I love <laughs> I, I do have a question. Uh huh. Go for it. Now, my biggest question is do you guys really think that White uh, Vember will take off? Because really I'm. Take off? I, yeah, I. Oh. I mean, maybe. Okay, Wait, so now we're, with, uh, now we're on with IK Rooney and At My Limit. So what do you guys think specifically about Blacktober and White Vember, respectively? Uh, well, I actually enjoy the prospect of White Vember. In fact, I've actually been working on all of my characters that I've been drawing. I've been making them white just for the occasion because the idea that it pisses people off makes me happy. Okay, just one second. Errant Vice, thank you for the super chat. He says, so if orcs are black people, are elves great accountants and investment bankers? I say this is the <laughs> JW guy from Twitter. I, will not I know who you are, buddy. I know who hate. you are. I know who you are. I, 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 remember, your, I remember your DMs. I'm... <laughs> Don't worry, you'll be on the show one day. Uh, let's see. So back, back to you. Uh, respond to, uh, at my limit. But yeah, the, the idea that I can make black characters white and it pissed people off is is enough for me to get invested into it because because uh, before blacktober really never felt like i never really cared because i'm just like oh, okay whatever moving on but then i saw that people were actually getting were actually getting pissed at people making jokes and i'm just like wow y'all really got upset over a, a fictional character edit i'm like damn you really got that mad. 
Yeah, they got that mad. The fan cameras are coming in to try and sabotage. The no, yeah, the, the fan cams are already. That's how you know how how a hashtag is actually trending when the fan cams show up. They're like, so I, I actually am starting to like the fan cams, not because I like fan cams, but because they can get literally anything trending. You guys ever <laughs> notice that? Yeah. Dude. Once the once they get it, once they get in it, it's like they don't realize that blowing it up with fan cams makes it trend. Exactly. Yeah. Like it's so many like times we've you seen, that you want. so many times we've seen like um uh like uh random celebrities' names and or cancel or something is over party and I'm like I'm just waiting for White Vember is over party or Pose Law is over party because that's that's how you know I've made it. Like, I'm honestly, so give it a week, it'll happen. That's, that's party when you hit the big time. Yeah, I'm surprised <laughs> okay. you didn't You'll get catch your check that. Mark that same day. Look, I can't. I can't wait for my check mark. To be honest, like, can you imagine me with a check mark? My head <laughs> is gonna blow up. Like, literally. In- Inkleman oh, says, oh, "Poe the Skinwalker," and instead of animals, it's different races. <laughs> wait, wait, where, where'd he say that? In chat. In oh my YouTube god. Chat. No, look. All I'm telling you, people say, "Oh, oh, oh the compliments and the uh, everything's gonna go to your head." I'm like, of course it's gonna go to my head. That's where my brain is. Come on. <laughs> you're saying you're going to get a fat head. I mean, that's where my brain is, of course. Your head isn't fat Phillips because thing. of big brain. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> gross. You're gross. I don't know why I laugh like that sometimes. It just you disgust comes me. That's, that, that, it happens. Anyway, <laughs> back, to, back to the point. Okay, so like, I'm not going to lie, guys. I like, I like a lot of the edits in Blacktober. I'm not even... I'm not even. I'm not a hater. I, I like a lot of them. Literally, like the Hinata one that I saw was literally. Yes. It was literally art. It was literally fucking. I oh, like the one that I'm flashed across really the good. screen. Yukako. Oh my god, Black Yukako got me acting different. I've seen Black Yukako before, so it didn't really hit me that hard because I've already seen. I, I love. Loved it. I love it. Well, look, but honestly, I expected my uh the the white proud family I posted to get me more hate, but. That no that one even so noticed that, that one. Good. No one even noticed. I guess it was it was too obviously bait with the with the blue lives matter flag in the background. It was t- just too obvious as bait. But uh, the Cora by herself, but looking like Link or you gotta do Samus. It subtly. I find it hilarious that dis- I find it hilarious that once you strip away all of her bait, like or more specifically, when you strip away the things that make her quote unquote likable to the general public. If Cora was any other race and like if she was a they'd white They'd call her they'd call her a Becky or a Karen. They'd call her a they call her a Mary Sue. They call her what she is, a bad character, but because she happens to be a dark skinned and I also hate whenever people use the term dark skinned for every black character when the character is very clearly not dark skinned. I mean but Yeah, it's true. You just if she was if she was a white straight woman Nobody would have watched the show. Everyone would have hated it, or everyone would have done what they did with Aang, where it's just he's not actually that good. He's just this and that and the third. And it's like, but y'all only saying that because y'all think he's white. Oh wait, secondary question, real quick. Mm-hmm. Would you watch a race swapped Boondocks? Yes. Uh, I, I, I don't know about that, man. Because like, <laughs> I, I love the Boondocks so much that I would sooner watch it be destroyed than it depends. It depends. Would would the politics that the Boondocks talk about to make the change? One, one second, it... uh, uh, Aaron Vice, thank you for the super chat. Has anyone ever seen an orc in a Ravens jersey? I believe I did see a few in a Ravens jersey when I watched Home. Uh, not, uh, when I watched Bright on uh, Netflix, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> we got I got, we got to watch that movie in the Discord. I've never actually seen the full thing. Uh, me neither. I, all I heard was it was bad, and I just I mean, kind of avoided it. So people told me it wasn't bad, but it it, it could have been better. And I I remember there was a scene where uh uh Will Smith kills a fairy and says fairy lives don't matter, and I was like, wow, where are we going there? Was that supposed to be like a homophobe joke? No, was black that? lives Black Lives Matter. He was he was making he was making a Black Lives Matter joke like years ago during the film. When he like, killed a fairy I, I, and says fairy lives don't matter. I still oh, feel like I that should have been a gay joke, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, it, it really, I yeah. 
it was it, 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 but it wasn't it was a literal fairy like like a, I feel like like a fairy a small... is an outdated term for gay it really is like it's like yes, calling a fairy it's like calling a gay guy a pansy like 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 even they're gonna be confused like what what exactly use the use the proper use the proper term <laughs> british cigarette <laughs> anyway no but so i feel like a a race swapped version of the boondocks like i guess you could take um a redneck family and drop them in a black suburb and i would actually watch that order, that, that would be different I, but i, I would order, actually watch that in order for it to in order for it to make the switch it would need to switch everything so it can't just switch the skin color we also need to switch the politics that they believe in so of course of course but also i mostly just want i just want to see a white tom and a black sarah i kind of want to oh no (laughs) it's one of those i feel like that would be a complete train wreck and i want to watch it exactly your idea will watch but just a we went from regular snow bunny to boondocks, but Dead race Wind. swap would not look as good as trailer park boondocks. Like, what do they even call like trailer parks and everything? And they would call it double wide. Like, we got the boondock and then the double wide. I would watch anyway. It. Anyway, what, what uh, we I can Rooney. Would we call it the cul de sac? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, that what's would your opinion good. specifically on when it comes to when it comes to oh, white washing and black washing? Apart from the standard, apart from the standard of reasons people say like, "Oh, it, it's uh, it's minimizing, uh, it's minimizing minorities or black people." What do you think is the actual reason that people hate whitewashing? See, for me personally, wait, whitewashing and fan is, art. Wait, wait, at, at my is, let me just get it from I.K. Rooney first because she hasn't really gotten a chance to speak yet. Thank you. Uh, whitewashing and fan art, personally, I think. They're getting mad because they're aware or they've made up this idea in their mind that every single character out there is white. So when you take that small minority of characters or small quote unquote minority of characters that are black and you make them white to them, they take it way too personally than they should. The character is still black in the end, you know, and a little edit of them looking white isn't going to hurt the character itself. It's not going to turn them white in the show or in whatever piece of media they are in. They are still black. It's just a harmless edit. And I don't think you should be that outraged about it. Agreed, agreed. But um, when it comes down to it, uh, like it's, it's gotten so overblown that I feel like they think making any character that is black look even slightly less black than they believe they, they are is somehow af- deeply offensive to their very existence. It's weird to me, but... Like, in order, for, in order to understand the context of why it doesn't matter to me is, for me, the, the concept of wanting fictional rep, like a fictional character in a show, simply because a lot of these people believe that they're going to move things forward. Like, oh, if we put these Black characters into this fictional TV show, they'll start treating us better and it'll be a move forward for Black people. When in all actuality, all you did was just jog in place. You didn't do anything. You got a you gotta fake hurrah cool it doesn't matter how they treat black folks in a fictional world when they still treat you like garbage in the real world that it doesn't make any sense and wanting representation of any kind for the simple fact that you think it's going to help is dumb wanting a wanting representation is fine so long as you don't think that this representation is needed to move things forward because it's not because we haven't gotten any we haven't gotten any farther and we have a ton of black characters I could name like 10 if most of them weren't Japanese names. There's a whole bunch of characters that are black and we are still in the same place. No, 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 wait, wait, pause. Sorry, that's a really good point. That's a really good point you just made there. Like you and I.K. Rooney made a similar point. Like they they assume that almost uh, that all anime characters are white simply because of, like I noticed it on Tumblr too. They would say that... um, uh, that it would be it would be better to darken the characters that way they wouldn't be white. I noticed that so many times that they darken the characters so they wouldn't look white. And like I, I would always be like, but they're not even white in the first place. That's Izuku Midoriya. He's Japanese. You don't get more Japanese than that name. I mean, you can. I mean, I'm, like you know what I mean. 
Come on. <laughs> like, come on. The characters have Japanese names. They mostly, so sometimes, true. mostly live in Japan. How much more Japanese do you want them to be? They know? go to a Japanese school, wear Japanese uniforms, do Japanese studies, do... They literally... And not only that, but it gets even better when you realize that they draw Japanese characters and American characters completely different. Mm -hmm. They, they saw like that how... on k -On when they had a joke about some American tourists asking for directions. They looked so different from the other characters. No. It was unreal. Even even in My Hero Academic, they literally show Ameri American white people and they had their noses were huge, first of all. <laughs> their noses were huge. <laughs> Well, although Melissa Shield and her dad, their noses their noses weren't huge, but I guess the, the the cheerleaders in that episode were just for a joke, or they might have been Jewish, blonde blonde Jews. You know, what? let's ignore that. that. That that's not. There's no anti-Semitism going on here. Uh, um, and we hit the Jew drop mark at six fifty-three. Also, can we talk about? Can we also, sorry to interrupt, but can we talk about the fact, one thing that I absolutely cannot stand more than anything is just the sheer hypocrisy that is what is going on. Because, okay, so let's just say that it that you think that it's fine to make a white character, no, 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 a black character white, all right? Let's just say that. Why does nobody ever I remember making a I remember making a long thread on my old Twitter account about all of the characters that used to be white that were made black like Shelly from Pokemon she was a white redhead who was made black in the remakes and nobody oh, seemed sorry. to bat an eye One second I'm all. at it. Uh thank you for Jonathan Gutierrez again for the super chat. Uh he says they did a similar joke about Americans in the Yakuza games. Is it Yakuza? Yakuza? Whatever. Can't Yakuza. remember which one, though. Yakuza. Okay, good. I, I'll make sure to remember that. Oh, yeah. I actually remember that joke where they had, like, this American villain. And this is, like, a whole Japanese game. And just out of nowhere, it's just like, well, hello, sir. Like, and keep in mind, you've been listening to Japanese for, like, the last, like, 100 hours. So English out of nowhere sounds like, what, what is this? Why are you speaking True. a different language? It, it's like you're Spanish. When someone turns on dub. Oh. Actually, uh, yeah, back to the point that uh, I.K. Rooney and At My Limit made. Like, have you noticed that um, when uh, any any slightly tan character in anime or Japanese games, people assume, yeah, that's black. That's black right there. Yeah, that does very much annoy exist. me. But about Egyptian, I swear, people are just like, we need more representation. But I, I guess representation only stops at African because that's the only that like the where's my West Indian representation? Where's where's my Jamaican representation? I would love to see some. I would love to see some characters that look like my father. He's West Indian. True. Like, I, I don't think I like pretty much. It's like apart from like uh, uh, black, white, Hisp vaguely Hispanic. Uh, occasionally several distinct types of Asian. Uh, they don't, people really, like, media doesn't really try to be all that diverse other than, like, on the surface level. You know what I mean, guys? Yeah. yeah. I Describe surface level. It's kind of like a gilded hallway. It's like, it's nice and pretty and gold, but there's really no, there's really no substance to it. It's just, okay, cool, you got a black character. But I think at it the end of the day- it depends on where it's coming from because Disney Channel, I mean, for all of their vices have been pretty good at introducing programming that contain diversity that didn't feel- no, that is true. At the time for true. diversity's sake. What was it, Mucha Lucha and El Tigre? So that's cartoon. That's Mucha Lucha is cartoon network. Okay. LT Gray is Nickelodeon. Oh well, hell, never mind. Disney you failed. No, no, but, but no, no. But Disney, Disney has had fails. like apart from like the early, like apart from like no, even in the early two thousands, you would have like London Tipton, an Asian girl who was like a, a main character and who was a, a rich and wealthy, and you would like even though like a bunch of other main characters on the show were blonde, but. I okay, think Hannah Montana. No, Hannah Montana and Kathy were all white. I don't there. think this. That's a Raven. Again, That's Harry a Raven. Dice. Example to use for diversity for another like, super chat. Yeah. Air, Air, uh, what's it called? Uh, That's a Raven. That had a lot of. Well, it was pr like ninety nine percent black or ninety percent black at least. So I can't really call that diverse. That's so Raven. But yeah. Um. You had uh. 
Disney really didn't Peter have Pan. that much diversity apart from like maybe a black person here or there in some shows. Mr. Mosby and Sweet Life. Yeah. Um, like yeah, Ghetto Lab Rats. Yeah, Disney didn't really do much with diversity. Whoopsie daisy. That's because Disney that's because Disney is absolutely just gar Disney's track record in terms of I mean of no, but recently, like in the last few years though, they had like um this show about uh this Asian girl who uh like this Asian a show about an Asian family. This girl thought her her uh she thought uh her mom was her sister until her 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 sister finally told her the truth that she was her mom and just gave her to her grandmother to raise her. Okay, also, and I was like, wow, we, this hold on, why are we bagging bagging on Disney when we literally have an example in our photo slide? We've got the Proud Family. Oh, was, true, the Proud it Family. It wasn't black for yeah, being black sake. Yeah. It was like you know. And that yeah. had a lot of I mean, different... They were even Republicans. They were even black Republicans, which was interesting to me. Yeah. Like, uh, black Republicans are surprisingly very uh, common. You yeah, one. I did not... Look, I look. growing up, I literally thought that black Republicans... Like, for some reason, I was in high school and I got everything off Tumblr. I was like, I just assumed black Republicans were just, like, dumb. And I'm like, but what... Would, I was literally 15. What did I know? Where was the lie? Like, why were you on also, Tumblr? American Dragon, Jake Long. Like, Disney did oh, do damn. some... Yeah, you all these programs that you've liked. <laughs> You're not even going to give them recognition. Yeah. But, uh, Corey yeah, in the house? True. Uh, okay. Disney did have some. Disney did have a lot. Yeah, they did. But I, but no. for me personally, I've never been a huge fan of Disney because their, their track record, especially like... Uh, <laughs> They're old, old stuff. I just, jeez, I mean, like, yeah, you it's have to really messy. think. They really let that on air. Like, mm. why is the red man red? They really had that song take up half the movie. Mm. Anyway, uh, let's, uh, we're, 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 we're going to be closing up soon. Let me just, uh, you guys mind if I switch you out for like two more people just to say their parts? I do mind, in fact. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, thank you guys, though. Okay. Later. Okay, Bad Rabbit, Sahano, you're... Oh, oh, oh wow. Bad Rabbit left. Wait, Bad Rabbit what's, left? What's going on? To... Any... Bad Rabbit, you there? Bad Rabbit, you there? He's muted. Uh, uh, one second. This is what happens. Tejano, <laughs> are you there? Tejano, okay, you there. Yeah, I'm here. Sorry, I'm here. sorry about that. Yeah, okay. we got Bad Rabbit back. Okay, good. So, uh, Bad, we're just talking about, you know, the opinions on Blacktober, White Vember, whitewashing, blackwashing, you know? So, specifically, what do you have to say about it? Well, in my opinion, honestly, uh -huh. like um, one of my biggest uh, like gripes with it is like a couple of months ago, it was all uh, people were talking about like how whitewashing was bad and how, you know, changing the race of some someone's ethics to another race was wrong. And I was like, yeah, I was like totally fucking down with that. But then like but then like now you have a whole month of that. And then you're like, wait, guys, I thought we were against this. It's like, no, nah, shut up, cool. You're, 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 you shut up. And then when you try to explain to people why you think it's wrong, it's just you immediately either get shut down or you're a me. You there, bro? I think he, uh, he, uh, dipped out. So, Tahano, what, what is your opinion? Um, personally, I see the whole Blacktober thing the same on the same level <clears throat> as whitewashing. But if they're going to do that to add more diversity, why not add some Latino characters and Latino edits? I mean, because this is Blacktober, though. This is Blacktober, though. Yeah, but there's yeah, I, I of actually Black did edits. Understand How come there's no Latino from, edits? If they're going to do that, they're going to do the same thing as whitewashing. At least add some Latinos, add some Latino spice. Have man. some real diversity in there. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's, why get... I make, that's why I make my own characters. I like to draw a lot of Latino characters. That That's because I don't believe in, in editing a character to look like me. Instead, I create my own characters. <laughs> well, that's fair. That's fair. No, that's like without a doubt fair. Oh, bro. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, we got another super chat. And another. For and another super chat. <laughs> K9 Snow. I recently started watching y'all podcast. I like these discussions about diversity. Can I join y'all Discord? And Jonathan Gutierrez. He said, Can I 
I can join. Can I join y'all Discord too? How about this, Lamb? You you might you mind if I uh, post a, a one hour invite in the in the uh, link or a uh, or a ten minute invite in the link in the yeah. uh, super chat? Sure. Right, okay. Go ahead. Cool. Game more okay. Latinos. <laughs> Come on in, boys. Yeah. Can't wait to. Uh, yeah, I do understand where you're coming from, Weave. It's just like I noticed what my other friends got to do. Oh, by the way, uh, Po, I tagged you in an edit I made a couple of years ago, the Piccolo one. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'll check it out. Uh, it out. was funny because uh, one of my friends who happened to be, uh, uh, this is gonna sound generic, but happens to be black. Uh, he actually influenced. He actually influenced me to make that edit. I was like, "Wait, are you sure?" He was like, "Yeah, it would be funny." I'm like, "Okay," and like I did it. I put a little bit too much effort because it actually looks like a real screenshot. Face. True. True. Face. <laughs> and I did that on my phone. I was shocked with how how well I did on my I did that on my phone. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Fun fact. I'm actually looking through um. Uh, the white vember and people are still mad and some people are going like way off some people are going oh by the way the the hashtag is pretty much trending at this point it oh is. Yeah. yeah i saw some of the exciting. uh the uh what is it the uh, responses to it and they were like uh, white vember is trash you're all racist yeah. you're underground racist oh micro racist and fuck all of you guys. like no, no see the thing is this, let, me, let me just say them real quick about this, about this hashtag like i know how the game on twitter is played i know I know what lurks in the depths of the racialized hellscape that is the art side of this Bluebird app, okay? Like, let me tell you right now, don't play these games. Don't patronize these people. Don't listen to their pointless complaints. When you take a character of any race and decide to put your own creative, inspired, artsy spin on it, I don't care what you do with it. If you want to age up kid characters, go ahead. If you want to age down adults, you can do that. Furry versions, I don't care. Human versions of Anthros, I'm not stopping you. If, you. if you're gonna change the skin color of a character of any race, as long as you're not doing it out of some claim that you're fixing it, then yeah. go fucking nuts. Hashtag like, take as many nuts. fucking black characters as you want and draw white versions, because it is stupid as fuck to get mad at that. I want you to do that because the more people that get mad, the closer they get to dying of a heart attack and saving <laughs> up the fucking stress of aneurysm. having to deal with them anymore. And doesn't that sound chuck fuckling amazeballs? Yes, so yes it does. Jerk your metaphorical art boner to completion and show all the fucking retards on this app your Jackson Pollock of a masterpiece. You can do it all because you goddamn have the right to and let nobody tell you different. And if I hear one more person spill from their fucking fetid face hole the same scripted bullshit about representation and minimizing minorities and upholding white supremacy, I will have the mother of all goddamn aneurysms, but not before smashing my own fucking skull into a wall until the sight and sensation of losing so much goddamn blood makes me calm my metaphorical titties. Oh, I feel like don't hold that back, dude. Oh, that, 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 that was the Emmy Award winning. That's that, that's <laughs> that's a Grammy, that's a Grammy nomination right well. there. That was like, a that glorious. Be <laughs> no, because I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking at all these, all this, and I can't believe people would get so mad at this for no reason. Yeah, it's, and it's dumb. Like I literally like. Every like I literally asked people in real life, hey, what do you think about this? Like it's comments like those. I'm like, why do you look at this shit? And I'm like, uh, because it's funny and I like seeing the reactions. I'm like, this is stupid to get mad at. Yeah, you know, yeah, like I, nobody the worst even part is, cares about that shit. I, I remember talking to like my people. coworkers who were like just straight boomers, like but they nobody are. Nobody cares about that stuff in real life. No, they don't. No, the they people do that have time to worry about that kind of thing are the type of people who don't have jobs. Very typically, just yeah. say it. They have no yep. jobs, no families, no lives. They they literally have nothing going for them. They live online, my friend. That's what they do. Quite Thank literally. you, Jonathan Gutierrez. Damn, Poe is letting it all out. Get some. Get some. Get some. <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on. I, I gotta go throw pull a quick super chat myself. Uh, freaking digital. Hyper awesome episode. 
This episode no. was literally amazing. Jonathan is, Gutierrez, thank you. I did let it out. I did let it out. Um, <laughs> like People uh, want I, I, to I, hear I, I other people Lam, talking about this. I yes. told Liam that I was going to try and hold back because I didn't want to rant. And then I ended up ranting anyway. <laughs> it was too but sometimes late you to like have from. to because it's just like it's, it's so like, fucking frustrating. Like, I like, literally complain literally. about it. Was it was taken I, by uh, passion there. <laughs> did I say artsy fartsy? You might have done. <laughs> yes, yes, you did. You did say artsy fartsy. Thank, Thanks, thank you, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, take some five bucks. Like, I, I can afford it. Throw like, one of, the, anyway, um, okay. one of the things so, I always talk about with my, uh, with people is like, like my view of art is the whole point about art is its creative expression. Like, I don't draw because I'm like, oh, I think someone's going to like this. I draw because I fucking want to. Like, when I, uh, like, Stanley said it best when he said, I create things that I like, and if people like it, fucking dope. Or maybe like, like that, but, like, close. So it's like, when I get so fucking annoyed, when if, if I was drawing something and someone took my drawing and colored over and, like, hey, I fixed this, I, like, fucking punch them in the Adam's apple or the pussy, either way. Because it's like, well, how I fucking dare you? I'm doing that to my art. I'm going to punch them in the face. They better pray that they don't meet me in real life. <laughs> I don't, it's so I don't fucking disrespectful. You seriously. I don't personally have a problem with people making art for political reasons. However, it is not the kind of art that I would like to indulge in. I don't mm-hmm. regularly go and look for even comic panels of political art. Mm. It's just not something that interests me. No, I feel that. I just like drawing bodacious Latinas. I mean, that's fair. With big boobs and a big butt and a tiny waist. Amen. Yeah. It's just, it's like the more shit that comes out, it just more inspires people to be like, you know what? Since nothing good yeah, is coming out, I'm gonna make it myself. Is a good mo- spite is a great motivator, to be honest. Like, yep. Uh huh. If you, if you can't get something from a company, then you do it. Make or if it you can't get something from a company or anything, you do it yourself. Uh-huh. Exactly. And if someone tells you that you can't do something, you go. You, your first thought is, "Fuck you! I'll do it anyway." <laughs> I do what I want. Oh, you can't do pull that. A fan, oh, I just pull a fan did notes. So. I'll do it myself. Basically, uh-huh. somebody tells me, well, you can't do that. Well, I just did so. Yeah, like, exactly. um, one thing that my uh, ex told me, that, like, one of the things that she said that I actually listened to is, it's like, you know, you complain about, like, stuff like this a lot. And I'm like, yeah, because, like, there's no, everything that comes out is dog shit. It's like, well, why don't you fucking do it yourself? You can draw it. And I was like, fuck, you right. Why don't I fucking do that? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, that's why I, like, want to work on a fucking comic that I like that I would enjoy. You know, the funny thing is me and a group of guys on Twitter, like before I, like a while ago, a few months ago, like when Corona was still like in its infancy. And like, I think this was like right when the podcast had started, like back in March, we were actually working on like a superhero universe together, like to make like some uh, comics about it, but like it never got off the ground. Ooh, now I got ideas. (laughs) I don't think like superheroes are dying. I think, it's like it's it, like super. I don't. I really don't think it's dying. I just think it's being handled poorly. Like nope. it, it being yeah, handled like, very poorly. Yeah. Yeah. Like look like, at freaking manga got, and everything. Like they literally exactly. have straight up like near carbon copies of superheroes, but they handle it so much better to the point like you don't even care. No, that, man. You guys know. You guys know Invincible, right? Invincible, the new. Oh yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. Oh. Invincible was handled like a manga. Wait, what? Invincible, the the comic. It's it's a like imagine. It's basically, uh, imagine Superboy, but better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Drop that link. Drop Drop it in my DMs. I want to read it. Okay, sure. But, like, yeah, Invincible was handled so well. People loved it. And you know what? It finished. It had an ending. Yeah, and a decent ending. Like, Invincible started way back in, like, 2000 and what? When did it start? I know it started, um, when did it start? It started 2002. Invisible started way back in 2002. That's when the character uh, first appeared. And then the series itself started in 2003. It ended in... When did it end? Frick. Uh, I know I read the last one. It ended t- two years ago, 2018. It, it ran for 15 years. And it's one of the best-loved comics like out there. Like if when they said is, they're getting... If oh, someone is getting into comics, I tell them to look at that one first. Because I don't, I don't bother with all the different Spider Mans and all the different Supermans, all the different Black uh, Black Panthers or Black Mar or uh, um, uh, Captain Marvels. Just start at Invincible One and read till the end. Yeah, 
What I liked about Invincible is just like all the like trope. It would make fun of the superhero tropes. Like I know that that's not new, but it's just it's funny how they do it. Like first issue, he gets powers. You you think he'd be make a big deal out of it? Then he just like, oh cool, my powers kicked in. <laughs> and it's just like wait what? And it's like it, stuff like that. It's just like really cool. Oh, and, but like, the, yeah, no, the funny thing like is like very good. Like, in I, in I, the I show, like when... no, but in the show they're they're gonna make a bigger deal out of it though. <sighs> I'm scared because, for the show because you, you saw that you saw that the trailer where he was like a uh like oh oh uh well that was that was probably the time when he was flying not yeah. the time when he first threw Whoa. it up. yeah because they didn't show when he first started flying in the books oh yeah, that's true like it just skipped to him like throwing the uh, yeah the trash throwing bag. throwing the trash bag all the way to <laughs> London and then straight up just fighting some bad guys in like a badly made costume. Hey, Dad, I have superpowers. That's great, son. Eat your beans. Literally. <laughs> I, I still feel like that's better writing, because I feel like <laughs> if powers became something, like, on the norm, yeah. then it would just be something like, yeah. Dad, I have powers. Like, you, Dad, if you grow up, up your pride. If, if your dad lives his every day with powers and he knows you're going to get powers one day anyway, he's not going to be like, it, that's not like, uh, he's not going to be like, oh, wow, I'm so excited. Like, okay, good. Let's let's move on to trading. That's, that's, that's what he would yeah, expect. Like, it, it's not like you're getting your first period or something like that. Yeah. He like, doesn't know what to do. It's like, oh, you have powers? I have powers. Like, let's get this yeah, done. But what, if they, what if he has different powers? No, no. They, uh, his people, they're basically Kryptonians mixed with Saiyans. Uh-huh. Yeah, that he, is, knows, yes. he knows exactly oh what power. He knows exactly okay, what power like he's getting. like a random thing. No. Like, okay. they're all, like, the, the thing is, like, the, the Viltrumites, like, they're like if if they're like if Kryptonians were stupid, not oh. well, not stupid, Barbaric. but they're basically if Kryptonians were Saiyans. The, uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Like they don't have heat vision, they don't have they don't have super hearing, uh, but oh, they, they don't. But, but they have like uh, enhanced vision, enhanced flight, like basically every other power Kryptonians have, they have. But also when they get beat up to the point of like death. They can recover and be stronger like Saiyans. That's yeah. like a standard I part of being that. that's like a standard part of being them. If you can't get up from a beating and get stronger, then you might as well just die. Yeah, they're like they like Kryptonian Spartans. Kryptonian Saiyans is what I say. <laughs> I like Kryptonian <laughs> Saiyans. Okay. Because they do they literally do get stronger after they recover from a bad injury. No, that's true. Just like how skin works in humans. I mean, does skin work like that? Does it get stronger? Yeah, it does. It gets uh, the, the, the skin uh, when you get a wound, when it heals, the skin that heals becomes stronger. Mm. That's why it looks and feels different from the rest of your skin. I. You know what? Uh, this has been a great episode. This has been one of the best episodes that I can <laughs> ever remember for this show. Uh, so. <laughs> Um, I think we should come to a close. We've been streaming for a while. I got to do some editing to remove some of that dead air. Uh, but uh, sorry, this, I'm like this, very shy. <laughs> no problem. This has been great. That's I want to thank all of you and everyone who spoke before. Thank uh, Jeremy for filling in as co-host for today, and no thank Lamb for being such an awesome co-host, a uh, producer. Uh, well, we'll get there one day. <laughs> one day. Less to cotton socks. Thank you, everyone, and thank you to our sponsor, Artesian Builds. You are always there for us silently. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.